Zimbabwe coup latest updates, Robert Mugabe to speak at 11 a.m., people told stay off streets. Zimbabwe coup latest updates, Robert Mugabe to speak at 11 a.m. People told stay off streets Zimbabwe's army has seized power in Harare and placed President Robert Mugabe under house arrest but deny starting a military coup. Here is the latest news and live updates. 8 a.m., Zimbabwe's ruling party releases statement on takeover. Former Vice President Emerson and Gagwa will now take power in Zimbabwe according to the ruling ZANU-PF party. The party has denied staging a military coup, instead choosing to call the takeover a bloodless transaction. In a series of tweets this morning read, Last night the first family was detained and are safe, both for the constitution and the sanity of the nation this was necessary. Neither Zimbabwe nor ZANU are owned by Mugabe and his wife. Today begins a fresh new era and comrade Angagwa will help us achieve a better Zimbabwe. There was no coup, only a bloodless transition which saw corrupt and crooked persons being arrested and an elderly man who had been taken advantage of by his wife being detained. The few bangs that were heard were from crooks who were resisting arrest, but they are now detained. ZANU PF has a way of solving our own problems, the situation is stable and Zimbabwe is open for business. There was no coup, but a bloodless peaceful transition, the sector is strong and there is peace with honest leadership. 8.20 M, Zimbabwe's National Secretary for Youth Affairs held. The ZANU PF Youth League has confirmed that Tk Chipanga has been detained. The Youth League would want to confirm the detention of Tk Chipanga. A statement read. His safety has been guaranteed and has implored us to comply with the National Democratic Project which is underway. We would also want to commend the military for conducting the NDP with minimal force. Chipanga was appointed to the roles of National Secretary for Youth Affairs by Mugabe in September 2016. 8.24 M, Robert Mugabe's wife Grace to leave Zimbabwe. Early reports suggest Grace Mugabe could be allowed to leave Zimbabwe, after her husband was placed under house arrest. News 24's Adrian Vesson cited verified reports that Mugabe has negotiated for Grace to leave the country while he prepares to step down. The takeover was sparked after Mr Mugabe sacked his deputy, Emerson Angagwa, in favor of his wife. 8.31 M, No Crisis in Zimbabwe claims ZANU PF Youth League. The youth division of Zimbabwe's ruling party tweeted, contrary to international reports, the gallant Zimbabwean army has not staged a coup. There is no coup in Zimbabwe. Neither is there a crisis. The army is simply affecting a national democratic project and it's doing so with peaceful aplomb. 8.42 M, Brits told to stay off Zimbabwean streets. Following the military takeover in Zimbabwe, the British government has advised UK residents to stay off the streets in Harare. A statement read, due to the uncertain political situation in Harare, including reports of unusual military activity, we recommend British nationals currently in Harare to remain safely at home or in their accommodation until the situation becomes clearer. Please continue to monitor our travel advice and embassy social media accounts for updates. 8.51 M, Zimbabwe and locals rush to banks. The people of Zimbabwe have been photographed rushing to withdraw funds from banks. Crowds of locals could be seen queuing outside CBZ Bank in Harare, as political uncertainty in Zimbabwe escalates. 8.57 M, military chief's trip to Beijing was a normal military exchange, says China's foreign ministry. General Constantino Chiwenga met Chinese Defense Minister Chang Wangquan in Beijing on Friday, where Chang expressed a willingness to promote relations with Zimbabwe, according to Reuters. Asked whether Chiwenga had briefed China on plans to seize power, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zheng Shuang said the Defense Ministry had already released information about his trip and that he didn't have an understanding about the specifics of his reception in China. 9.08 AM, South African President calls for calm in Zimbabwe. 
President Jacob Zuma has called for calm and restraint in Zimbabwe following last night's military takeover. He has urged the government of Zimbabwe and the nation's military to resolve the political impasse amicably, Reuters report, adding that the South African development community will be monitoring the situation closely. 9.15 am, Zimbabwe's opposition party demands return to democracy. The Movement for Democratic Change MDC, party has called for Zimbabwe to return to democracy. The party said it hopes the military intervention will herald an establishment of a stable, democratic and progressive nation-state. The MDC has been the primary political opposition to Mugabe's own ZANU-PF party for the past 20 years. 9.24, Zimbabwe's Finance Minister Detained Zimbabwe's Finance Minister Ignatius Chombo is reportedly being held after the military seized power in an attempt to root out criminals surrounding Robert Mugabe. 9.37 am, shocking video shows tanks blocking roads in Harare. A stunned Zimbabwe a local has filmed military officers with tanks controlling traffic in Zimbabwe. Commentating on the scenes, the filmmaker said, there's a tank along Kirkman Road, closing off Kirkman Road. This is military police and a tank. There is a tank blocking Kirkman Road, stopping cars from going outside. 9.45 am, Zimbabwe police on leave told to return to posts. The national police force in Zimbabwe has recalled all officers on leave. A leading official told the Associated Press that all police on leave have been ordered to return to their posts immediately. 10 a.m., Zimbabwe's Deputy Director Central Intelligence Organization, CIO, arrested. The Deputy Director of Zimbabwe's CIO has been detained, according to newspaper owner Trevor Cube. Mr. Cube also confirmed the arrest of Kudzai Chipanga, the president of ZANU-PF National Youth League. Still no word on the National Police Commissioner Augustine Chire, he added. 10.07 m, U.S. Embassy in Zimbabwe closes doors to public. The United States Embassy in Harare will be closed today, November 15, following the dramatic military takeover overnight. Due to ongoing uncertainty in Zimbabwe, the U.S. Embassy in Harare will be minimally staffed and closed to the public on November 15, a statement read. Embassy personnel will continue to monitor the situation closely. 10.24 am, Mugabe could resign following military takeover. Jane Morley, Zimbabwe analyst at the Economist Intelligence Unit said, the situation in Zimbabwe remains highly fluid following the military takeover on November 14. There are suggestions that the incumbent, Robert Mugabe, will resign, after which an interim government will take over, and elections held. However, it is far from clear that any such polls would be free and fair. A managed election process would in all likelihood lead to the victory of former Vice President Emerson Angagwa, the Army's favored candidate. However, the role of regional groups such as the Southern African Development Community will be crucial. They are unlikely to accept a military coup in Zimbabwe, and even if the military returns to barracks, as it has pledged to do, and elections lead to a Angagwa presidency, the army will still have played a key role in determining who leads the country. We will update the latest information in the following newsletters. Show me your opinion in comment part. And please subscribe's channel to follow more new video every day. Thank you. When the night is over